三至三十一日，在滨海湾金沙万事达卡剧院公演。等你买票。And um, so I met with the abbot in London, and uh, I started to read a little bit about Shaolin history. And I thought, what a shame just to do one benefit show. Why don't we try and tell one of the stories from their legendary history and make a theatrical show out of it and tour it? And a lot of uh, shows that you try and put together, it takes an enormous amount of effort to do it. But these, this was one of those projects that just took a life of its own and within two or three weeks I was in China, we were making all sorts of arrangements and it just all naturally fell into place really, you know. And 17 years later here we are, you know. You know, every time we go out on tour, um, we're having to change the cast and keep it fresh and uh, the young ones grow up and start performing different things and so it's a constant sort of evolution of the cast is, is, is what uh, is one of the most difficult things over the years. I suppose a lot of people will come to the shows and love seeing them break iron bars over their heads and wooden staves over their backs and balancing on spear points and everything. For me, over the 17 years, what I really love is the sort of balletic performance, the, the, the physical uh, performance, you know, the, the, uh, the kung fu moves and the, uh, the fluidity of it, the rigidity of it, the, you know, that's what is interesting for me, really, the uh, physical movement. I wouldn't say it's too difficult to keep up the tradition because uh, surrounding the Shaolin Temple are 50, 60 schools of which there are tens of thousands of children all training in Kung Fu and they're all taught from a very small age, uh, four or five years old, exactly the same things and so what we do with the show is that we, all of those routines that they already do and carters and, and performances they do, we build them into different parts of the show and then what we do is the icing on the cake is finding individual performance throughout uh, from individual performers to, to, to put into it. So really we're not doing anything that they wouldn't ordinarily do. Uh, it's just uh, choreographing it in a way that makes it interesting and, and keeps uh, the, the action in the show going. I don't think it's wrong at all that uh, the Shaolin Temple promote themselves and one of the ways they do that is with Shaolin Our Show, which we've been doing for 17 years. You know, all of the schools and temples around the main temple are funded by government, but they also need to raise funds themselves to pay for all of their equipment and help their students live and work and, and uh, go about their daily chores and everything in the, in the temple. So I don't think it's wrong at all. They, you know, like any modern organisation, they need to raise funds. You know, over the years, we, we've uh, hundreds and hundreds of, of students have gone through the show. So it's a great experience for them. Um, they're able to show their culture, their what they do, who they are, um, and it raises money as well for the school. So I think all in all, it, it's a rather perfect you know, uh, way to work. Yeah.